Hey guys, det er from Danmark her. Welcome to episode 5 of Battle for Sendicard, the new expansion that's about to come out from at the gathering. More spoilers have been revealed today, so let's check it out. The card I want to show you today is called Void Venua, and it's an Andrasic creature, colorless Andrasic creature that costs 9 mana to cast. It's, a, it's an 11-9, and your opponent can cast spells with even converted mana cost. Zero is even. Your opponent can block with creatures with even converted mana cost. This is uh, so weird and it's uh, flavor-wise really awesome that we have an Eldrassi that's really alien and have something brand new that we haven't seen before. This is uh, pretty crazy, but I do think it's really unfun to have this, uh, to be playing against this because you uh, you are really being uh, shut down, which is uh, really annoying. But then again, for nine mana, for, for nine mana Eldrassi, I definitely think that you uh, that you should expect that something crazy will happen when uh, when when something like this uh, enters the battlefield. Uh, but I wouldn't I wouldn't be uh, be playing against this. This would just be really annoying to uh, to face. <laughs> Orden of Murasa is a green elemental creature that costs you six mana to cast and is a five four. When Green Warden of Murasa enters the battlefield, you may return target card from your graveyard to your hand. When it dies, you may exile it. If you do, return target card from your graveyard to your hand. This is a pretty neat uh, mythic uh, creature, I think. Especially for uh, six mana, you get a lot of uh, things that you can uh, you can do. I would have uh, loved if it if it had the uh, trammel or something. I don't know if that would have been over the top, but uh, but it's pretty neat that you get something when it enters the battlefield and also when it leaves the battlefield. So that's a uh, pretty neat for uh, six mana, I think. Of Kosselik is a blue and red Eldrassi drone creature that costs you three mana to cast and is a two four. You got the Devoid mechanic, where colorless spells you cast cost one less to cast. There's not much to say about this creature other than it's always nice to have uh, creatures that uh, that helps you uh, cast uh, something out for uh, for lesser mana. In this case, you can cast the uh, aggressive creatures uh, even faster, even if you have uh, like four of them out at the same time, for instance. A 2-4 for, uh, for three mana in general is really good, so I think it's a nice creature to have. Catabomb Sifter is a green and black Eldrassi drone creature that costs you 3 mana to cast and is a 2-3. You got the Devoid mechanic, and when Catabomb Sifter enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 colorless Eldrassi Skyrim creature towing onto the battlefield. It has sacrificed this creature at 1 colorless mana to a mana pool. Whenever another creature you control dies, scry 1. This is uh, actually really nice that you get uh, something out of uh, out of uh, sacrificing your uh, your little creatures to get uh, now you will now you will both get uh, some mana, but you also get to scry, which is uh, really cool. Three mana for a two three, it's uh, it's pretty neat too, and you also get an uh, get a one one uh, token, so uh, it's definitely nice uh, to have this in a deck. I think the last card I want to show today is called Skyrider Elf, and it's a green and blue elf warrior ally creature that costs you two mana plus X to cast. It's a zero zero and got flying. And got the new converge mechanic where Sky Rider Elf enters the battlefield with a 1 1 counter on it for each color of mana spent to cast it. I I don't really like this uh, creature to be honest. I think uh, if you just spend 2 mana, it would be a 2 2 flying. But the problem with the converge on this card, although it's really nice that uh, that it's on creatures too, is that, uh, is that you, you kind of get what you pay for. So if you want to pay 5. Uh, five uh, colors, five different colors. You get a five-five flying out for five mana, which uh, I don't think is really good. I think you know there are other creatures that uh, you will get out that are, for instance, flying, that uh, will cost you less. Um, it would have been nice if it would have been uh, like a zero, one, or two or something, so it had a bit uh, of more defensive uh, style to it. Uh, uh, that would have been a neat, I think, but. Uh, as it is now, I don't think it's that good, to be honest. There are some cards I wanted to show you today. You can leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think of the cards we have seen so far and Battle for Seneca in general. And there are new spoilers coming out for Battle for Seneca. I'll be making a new video, so if you're interested in this, you can subscribe to me. Until next time, have fun, guys. <coughs>